Hello friends, welcome to this section. In this section, we are going to understand how we can install WordPress in HPanel. HPanel is basically provided by Hostinger and it is similar to cPanel but it is their custom panel for managing your website. Now I highly recommend Hostinger cloud platform to make a scalable WordPress website. It handles height traffic very well. So without wasting any further time, let's see how we can process that. First of all, once you log into your edge panel on the left hand side, you can see a WordPress hyperlink. So you can click on that and you can click on dashboard. Once you are there on the dashboard, you can see uh, there are two tabs. One is the staging tab and second is your dashboard. So if you want to create your website in the staging, so people who are from development background will understand staging is where your website is not live to the public, but it is, uh, uh, you know, developed in some other URL. And then later on, once your website is completed, you can migrate it to your main domain name. In here, we will not be talking about the staging, but we'll be seeing how we can install WordPress. Now, if you just scroll down, you can see install another WordPress. So I'll just uh, click on the install link here. I'll get this pop up where I can give the website name. So I'll just give it as Academy blog testing. You can give whatever title you want to. This can also be changed later on from the WordPress admin panel. You require to give a password. So I'll just give a secured password. You need to make sure that it has a mix of upper, upper letter, uh, your uh, small letters, numbers and special characters. Otherwise, it will give you a warning. We'll click on the advanced tab because we do not want to install this WordPress in the main domain. First of all, we'll select HTTPS here since SSL is installed. In fact, Hostinger provides you a free SSL with your hosting plan. Also, you can get one free domain if you are uh, registering your hosting for the first time from Hostinger. For more details, I've included the link in the next section where you can check it out. Now enter the subdirectory. So I will just uh, name this subdirectory as testing. Otherwise, you can name it as blog if you are setting up your blog or if you are setting it as uh, um, any other directory, you can name that here. Choose a database. We will leave this as it is. And now we'll click on next. By default, we'll select the latest version. Language will be English. And updates, we will uh, either you can turn off the automatic application updates or you can update minor versions. And this is recommended so you can set this up. I'll click on install. It will take some time to set up the entire WordPress onto the said domain. So we'll wait for it to finish. You can pause the video by the time it's completed. Okay, so your installation is successful. Here you can see, do you want to force HTTPS? You can manage this directly from here. If you want to move your website into maintenance mode, that also can be done here. Cache is uh, uh, basically if you flush uh, cache, any new updates will be visible to everyone. Uh, though it will be visible to everyone, but some people who have visited your website in the past may see a older version of the images at times. WordPress update, you can change whatever you want here. And uh, on the right hand side, you can see the database details, the daily backup, it's, it's enabled. You can see your PHP version and you can see your WordPress version also. 
Now, if you want to edit the site, you can simply click on the edit website button. And you will be redirected to WordPress WP admin panel. Now, if you go to this uh, website, okay, we can see that WordPress has already been already been installed. And we can see the site title has been added and your installation is complete. And here you can see uh, when you click on edit uh, website, you are redirected to the blog, but you can easily come to the dashboard where you have all the access to your plugins, appearances and all the other places. I hope you learned something new in this video. See you in the next section.